3.3 and we're going to call this 3.3a because we're only going to deal with insect pollination in the process of pollinating um, a flower there has to be a transfer of pollen grains from the anthers of one plant to the stigma of another so this is the pollen being transferred. The pollen can, is a, a small structure which contains the male nuclei. And the transfer in an insect pollinated plant is, takes place by insects. And so it's necessary for this type of flower to attract the insect into the first flower and then have a reason to go to the second flower. If pollen is, goes from one plant to another this is what we call cross pollination. Looking at a single flower structure we find the adaptations to attract the insect. First of all there are this, what you might call signals to the insect which are coloured petals. Insects can see colour. Um, a second thing are uh, scents which a flower often has which can attract the insect so the insect can detect these molecules and be attracted to the plant by the scents and then there has to be a kind of a payoff of value to the insect of going to the flower and this is provided in the form of food which are the nectaries producing a sugar called fructose and many insects will actually use pollen itself as a source of protein. So looking at the structure of the flower here we've got the petals here, the coloured petals. The stamen is the male part of the plant composed of the anther which produces the pollen grains they will come out of here and they are on a stalk called a filament so the f anther and the filament form the stamen and then the female part is composed of three sections there's the stigma onto which pollen grains fall style which connects the stigma to the ovary where we would find the eggs eggs in a plant are called ovules This whole structure here is called the carpal. That's the female part and the stamen is the male part. 